Hey guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to look at positioning objects in our scenes. So in our current scene, we have a cube object. And if I look up here now, we touched on this a second ago, but if I look up here now, I have a transform with a position, rotation, and scale. And I see an X, Y, and Z value, and they're pretty crazy values, and we'll change those here in a second. And now what's important about this is that's how we position things in our world. We decide at what X, Y, and Z coordinate the object is. So if I were to take this and say X, Y, and Z is zero, that's going to be directly in the center of our game world. I can also have a more free form control of this by just grabbing the uh, move tool that we have selected here. I can just move it on the X axis just like this. It'll only move on the X axis if I do that. And the same goes for the Z and the Y. Now maybe I want to move it on the Z and the X at the same time. Well, I'll grab green. And there we go. And the same goes for the red here and then blue, move it on the X and Y. Let's create another cube here. I'll just select this cube and I'll hit Control and D on the keyboard. I have it selected, so what I can do is I can just move it out. Now, one thing that's important is what if I wanted to place this cube directly up against this cube? Is I can hold down Control and Shift and doing this is going to enable the Surface Snap option for the Move tool. Now, if I were to click and drag, Notice once the mouse is over another surface, the object snaps to that surface. So I can just snap these vertices, uh, vertices together by holding down V, hovering over the vertex that I want, and I'll just drag it, and it will snap to the nearest vertex available to it. Boom, there we go. Now we are right up against each other, just like we need to be. Now just a tip, what if I am, I'm moving some stuff around here and this just gets way off screen somehow and I don't know where it's at, I'm trying to find it, I can't find it. So I can double click on cube one here. It'll frame it right in the center for me. Or I can have an object selected and then just hit the F key and it will frame it now let's position this back at zero, zero, zero. Cause so what I want to do is talk about some snap settings. Now we snapped surfaces together. We snapped vertices together, but now I want to simply snap to a coordinate grid. One way I can do that is I can hold down the control key as I'm moving the object and it's going to snap to the grid. But what if I don't want it to move one at a time? Well, I can fix that by going up to edit down to snap settings and I can change this right here. It can change them on the individual axis as well and also scale and rotation snapping, which we don't need that. Let's say I have this off position here and I wanna snap it to, uh, to be one unit each. I could just have it selected and say snap all axes and it snaps them all to the nearest unit that matches our snap settings. Or I could just say, well, I wanna snap just the X or I wanna snap just the Z and then just the Y, but the Y is already there. So then just the Y. Pretty cool. So that's a good way to start moving stuff around if you need a uniform type of layout for your level. 